Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we are away to Tenerife after a 3-1 win in the last match. I think we've got this and another three league games before our final against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey. But uh, let's focus on the league for now and see who we're playing today. A few changes today. We have got these three matches in short succession. Obviously we had the 3-1 win, this one and then another match just a couple of days later so we're bringing in Orcas in that defensive midfield position if I can get my words out but actually changing that to centre mid. Harrington's going to come in as an attack midfielder alongside Fabio Vieira and we've changed some of the back four as well just to freshen some legs up again for the next match we're probably going to have to rotate around again. Okay so away to Tenerife today let's see if we can keep this run going. The league's Pretty much tied up now, just seeing how many points we can get. Can we remain in this sort of form for the rest of the season? Um, but most importantly, at least at the moment, is that uh, Copa del Rey final coming up. Like I say, we're going to focus on the league matches, going to try and win every game. But really looking forward to that. It's going to be a big challenge against Barcelona. Seeing how good Real Madrid were when we beat them. Villarreal as well. Nice ball to Mudrik. Xerxes, lovely finish. Thought Mudrik might get a shot away. Again, he hasn't been fully on form. He hasn't been playing terribly, but... He hasn't been getting the assists and goals that he, he was uh, sort of January, February. Nice con finish by Xerxes. I need to check how many goals he's actually got now this season. Be a hell of a lot. But a very early goal that just settles our nerves and it's going to be an uphill battle for Tenerife that's for certain lovely ball to Carlos Perez now Mudrick out wide to Caulfield now Carlos Perez oh to flex wide Don't really need to see a replay. Not the best of corners. Harrington. Ooh, thunderous uh, strike. Cosper has just lost touch there. It was a good tackle. Dangerous. Nice work from Vieira there. Vieira, 2 0. Oh, God, not the Cristiano celebration. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. That was all Vieira, though. Broke up the play. Keeping the pressure on, which we always try and do. One touch rifled in. Nice tackle there from Kovacevic. Nice to see him get in the game. <laughs> Lovely ball. CXC. What a comfortable finish that was. Very casual. Plays the 1 2 of Perez, but what a lovely calm finish. V 
these two have got great chemistry together. I don't know the stats, but I would assume that in terms of players combining, they're probably top in our team. The others may be Bajer and Perez for when uh, Bajer plays on the right and Perez then goes up top, which we often do. Um, sort of that 60 minute mark. Oh, just too easy. Absolutely demolishing this team. Nice workout ride. Harriton, nice little ball, but a touch from Perez. And, you know, maybe the keeper could have done better. It was a little bit near him. It's hit hard, though. Yeah, Tenerife really struggling today. Nice tackle from Crossing over there. Just can't. Uh, I don't know. He just can't get chances. He can't get a run at defenders. He's he's not on full form. But I think that's what's great about our team. You know, one one player's maybe not playing. You know, the full best. We've got so many good players. It's very rare that we well, all of them are out of form. Very rarely have a really bad game. And at the moment I would say it's probably Xerxes and Perez that are the ones that are the biggest threat in the in the last few matches. out oh nice touch by Xerxes there ah that should have been through to Xerxes was that out? no just kept in I'm not sure what that was that was just in the middle of nowhere. He's Mudrick now. Oh, it's wide. That was the chance he was looking for. It's just wide there, and right before half time. We look again, oh, and again, it's blocked. Xerxes Perez. <laughs> Oh, it gets worse for Tenerife. Well, 
They just couldn't get rid of it, really. And then uh, later off to Perez, and it was a simple tap in. But there's half time. 5 0. And strangely, your possession is 50 50, which I don't really remember the last time we had it that low. Just shows you possession doesn't really matter. I mean, you got, I mean, 50% possession is clearly not bad, but you know, you could have 30% 30 30 possession, but if you're winning 5 0, that's all that matters. Yeah, I don't know what you would do if you're a manager and your team comes in and they're 5-0 down and you've got another half to play at. I just don't, don't know how you would deal with that. Well, it looked a bit of a robust challenge. Comfortable. Good effort though. Nice teamwork passing. That was a poor pass there though. So was that. Somehow Xerxes got the ball back again. Oh, Mudrick. Caulfield. Oh, I'm going to make some subs now. So subs that we've made, we've brought on Bajer for Carlos Perez, we've brought on Castledean for Fabio Vieira, we'll put an Arcas up top and then we're bringing in Rice in that defensive midfield. We'll I don't think we'll change that. No, we'll keep it at centre mid, that's fine. Again, like I say, we just need to rest those legs for the next match, which is in, which is in about two or three days. Caulfield's been terrible in this game. Some of the passes. Losing the ball. Oh, fired in from Bajer. Here's Castledean. <laughs> the youngster comes on and slots a goal in straight away. Must be great coming on, you're already 5 0 up, no pressure. The other team are deflated. And pretty much with the first touch of the ball, you get a goal. Well, that's only the one goal in this half so far. Um, understand me, you do kind of ease off a little bit when you're that far ahead. Nice tackle there.
lovely little ball into Bouget. Right, just to keep it in. Oh, Modric. Come on, you got to do better. Tell you what must not feel great is you're 6-0 up and <laughs> everyone else is scoring and you just can't get anything going your way. That's probably how Madrid will be feeling right now. Challenge. Oh, Mudrick again. Oh, ho, ho, ho. making no mistake that time. Came across from the left. Good dribbling. Couldn't see a route, so he played it out wide to Cofield. Into Bajer. Lovely little ball. First touch and bam. Certainly wouldn't think he's low in confidence with that finish. What a player. Like I said, I don't think he's been playing terribly. It's just things just aren't quite going his way that, that way in the first couple of months that we've got him. It's not like he's been missing absolute sitters after sitters or anything. Oh, Nelly in again. time and it's 7-0 and for some reason in the last match he celebrated and I thought that was because we won the title but then there was something that popped up saying that the next match was the title decider so I'm not sure if the game had a bit of a weird moment there um, but no there we go we're officially La Liga Smart Bank winners Division 2 it's been sewn up I'm wondering if the last match that we won and we got a, a similar sort of um, celebration was because we had officially been promoted. Um, I'm assuming is it like the top three that go up? So maybe it was just that, that we had secured, you know, top two or top three spot. But stats-wise, 55% possession. Weirdly, like I say, it was a little bit low after the first half compared to normal, that is. 50%. So it went up to 55%. Tenerife just did not trouble us in the slightest. And, yeah, scoreline says it all. Man of the match, you could have picked any of the top sort of three or four players. Carlos Perez, 7.5. Xerxes, 7.5. Totally agree. Mudrick, I'm glad he got a 7. That's that's pleasing. Vieira was good, yeah. I think just the whole midfield and, and front three were good. And the subs came on and they did a job. But that's it for today, guys. Really appreciate you joining once again. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. And think about subscribing to the channel just to keep up to date with the videos. I don't just do pairs. If you've had a look around, I do some golf games like uh, PGA Tour 2K23. Hopefully, I'll be doing the new EA golf game when that comes out. I've been doing a Resident Evil 4 playthrough, the classic version. The remake's coming out in March 2023. I'm hoping to do a playthrough of that as well. I've already pre ordered it. I've been doing some live streaming on Twitch, so join me there. I'll leave the link in the description below. But what I'm going to do is if you miss the live streams, I'm going to put VODs on the channel. But I've been doing a bit of everybody's golf. I've done some Returnal. I'm going to try some other games, probably some Hitman on there as well. But appreciate all your support and I'll see you next time. Cheers.